And an antibody drug conjugate is really a smart bomb. It's a new and modern way to deliver chemotherapy to a tumor cell differentially without targeting the neighboring cells, some of which protect the tumor, but some of which are just natural flora and fauna. And the way ADCs work is they use an antibody, and they choose an antibody to something that's expressed on the tumor cell and not expressed on normal cells of the immune system or other cells in the body. This allows what we call differential targeting, or targeting of the antibody to the cancer cell and not to the normal cells. However, unlike rituxan, which is an antibody against CD20 used in many non-Hodgkin lymphomas that are B-cell non-Hodgkin lymphomas, most naked antibodies tend not to be active, or many naked antibodies tend not to be active. So for example, in Hodgkin lymphoma, where the hodgkin reed Sternberg cells express CD30, the antibody drug conjugate, brentuximab vidotin, which targets CD30, was not active in its naked form. That is, that when brentuximab vidotin was studied in an earlier generation as a naked antibody, the antibody targeted the tumor cells, but wasn't active in any way at eliminating the tumor cells. So the premise of an antibody drug conjugate is to use the antibody not as an end in itself, but as a means for drug delivery, a means for differential drug delivery. So an antibody drug conjugate conjugates the antibody to a cytotoxic molecule. It can be conjugated to colichiomycin, which is the cytotoxic agent that is used both in the Seattle Genetics drug, brentuximab vidotin, and in the two Genentech drugs, um, pinatuzumab vidotin and polatuzumab vidotin, hence they have vidotin in the name. Oh. And um, you can also conjugate an antibody to a diphtheria toxin, to other cytotoxic agents. The, the molecule that's conjugated to your ADC needs to be something that can be cleaved once the antibody is opsonized or taken up inside the cell, because if the cytotoxic remains attached to the antibody and isn't cleaved with inside the cell, it's not going to be able to do its job. Once, um, so you want something that doesn't fall off in the circulation before it gets picked up by the cancer cell or it's going to be toxic, and you want something that comes off when it's supposed to, inside the cell. You want something that's not too big or cumbersome for it to be picked up by the cancer cell, and you want something that's not so juicy it's going to be picked up by every cell. So designing a good antibody drug conjugate is not an easy thing to do.